Yeah, very interesting that you mentioned it's not about creating a sellable business, but having a buyable business. I think that's a, a huge difference. And a lot of people just have the sell or the sale in mind and not the buyer in mind, what they are looking for. Now, you said before that you need to plan ahead of time, a year or so, or even more when you're trying to sell your business. Now you said always the markets are changing and e-commerce business, e-commerce markets are changing very, very fast. What's it in the current situation? And there's a lot of things coming in. Inflation is coming in. Recession is coming in. Um, bigger players are coming in. Shifts in e-commerce behavior are coming in. What kind of trends do you see? What business will become a uh, basically a target for, for bigger businesses to buy them? Well, I think right now, if you look at the data, um, within the different categories of e-commerce, um, the, the categories that are growing um, from a revenue perspective and, and putting through price increases successfully are categories like beauty, pets, and baby. Um, so it's no surprise, therefore, then right now, the acquirers that we speak to are more interested in those categories uh, than, say, for example, uh, home and garden. Um, you know, home and garden did incredibly well during the COVID period for obvious reasons. We were stuck at home looking to do basic refurbishments. Um, but now, ever since everyone's allowed out again, people are, are buying more beauty products, for, as, as an example, to, to, to make themselves look, look, look more handsome or prettier uh, when they go out. Um, so, again, a, a bit like that comment of the market wanting revenue or bottom line, it's also fluid in terms of uh, which categories are doing better depending on the, the, the time and the dynamics. And and therefore, um, it, it's important. Ideally, you're in a category that's on the upswing and you sell on the up and uh, not when it's, you know, it's starting to decline. Right. Um, and, you know, timing is everything in business, isn't it? But it's, it, it is sometimes hard to time timing, especially if you're not tracking the data. Um, we work with a company called Grips Intelligence, uh, which to me has the best data points as to which categories are doing well or not. Uh, they speak on our quarterly valuation webinar um, and they have data based on consumer transaction data, hard data. And um, so they they have a finger on the pulse as to which categories are doing well and not well. And that, and that goes into our thinking in terms of how aggressive you can be in, in terms of pricing of a deal and, and, and things like that.